Triple Flex Mafia. You can't be down with that. Yo, 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 it's the Viz, Triple Flakes Mafia, here to do another uh, Blu-ray slash 4K slash DVD um, pickups video um, collection update. Uh, did one, I don't know, about a month ago, month and a half ago. That's clearly uh, going to be something that I'm just going to add to the channel. Uh, Tony and Chad do theirs on their, you know, their own individual channels. So um, it's gonna be something I do, you know, monthly or just whenever I have a good stack of stuff to, to show off. But back to the old days, keeping a list on my phone every time I pick something up. Um, there's been some really good stuff come, coming out here recently that I've picked up. And then I'm, you know, always in the mood to buy random blind buys for horror movies. And uh, so I've got a good amount of um, horror movies as well. So let's just go through it. Uh, starting off with just the DVDs. Um, I don't know, over the past couple months, I've really been on a kick with like outdoor horror, like anything out in the woods or, you know, out on the lake or whatever it might be. Um, just as the weather's gotten nice, I've just been kind of in that mood uh, to watch movies like that. So one day I just got on Google and just typed in like movies set in the woods and, and you know, stuff like that gave me a big list and the majority of the movies I had or I'd seen but then there was a, a handful that I hadn't seen that were ranked pretty good you know I had good reviews so um, I picked up a few of them uh, the first one y'all just let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these I'm sure like the hardcore horror fans um, have seen these but these were only on DVD the only way to watch them but this first one is called Dead End um, it's got, uh, what's his name in it? Um, oh, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Yeah, I'm thinking of the next one. Uh, it's got some random actors in it. The main guy is kind of familiar, Ray Wise. Um, you might recognize that name. But it's about this family. It also has the old lady from uh, the Insidious movies. Always forget her name too. But Lynn Shea, maybe? Does that sound right? But uh, it's like a family out on this like road trip. Um, they're going out in the middle of the woods, their car breaks down, and then just all this craziness starts happening. And it's uh, people just start getting picked off one by one. And uh, it actually has a pretty cool twist to the ending. So, um, you know, if you ever see this for cheap, I would have to, you know, it's a random horror movie, but if you ever see it for cheap, this is a good blind buy. Um, I really enjoyed it. You know, it's obviously not the quality is not there, but um, the acting was kind of so-so. But it, it, I thought it was really good. The the lady from Insidious, y'all know who I'm talking about. The, that main old lady, she's like the mom, and uh, yeah, really interesting movie. It starts off kind of simple, but then it, it gets a little bit more um, kind of all over the place as the movie goes. So dead end. The next one, this is the one I was talking about. It has uh, Kelly Riley, which you'd recognize her if you saw her, and Michael Fassbender, and Eden Lake. I don't know if you recognize that girl, but she's been in a lot of stuff, it seems, here recently. But uh, just a couple, uh, I wanna say just going out um, to stay out and going camping or something like that. And then they just start getting terrorized by these kids out in the middle of the woods. And uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty intense uh, it's pretty crazy it doesn't get rapey I was worried it was gonna get rapey at some point but it doesn't and uh, overall just a really good you know uh, horror movie thriller whatever you want to call it but um, very good movie Michael Fassbender random just random horror movie that he's in but uh, check this one out it comes with a slip not that that really matters for DVDs but uh, really good watch and then just kind of plain, you can tell like all these movies kind of have the same vibe because their titles are almost all the same. This one's called Lake Dead. Um, also comes with a slip, this uh, After Dark Horror Fest. But uh, yeah, this movie was really good too. Kind of the same storyline. Um, I want to say it's a girl that her parents pass away or grandparents. I can't really remember. It's been 
I watched these, you know, over a month ago. And it's to a point now, I watch so many horror movies, they all just kind of start to blend together. But I believe um, the daughter gets this uh, land in this building. I want to say it's like a hotel or something out on the lake. But she gets that left to her, I guess, in her parents' will. And so her and her friends are going out there to like stay the weekend and decide what they want to do with the place. Well, there's these crazy people that live out. I want to say they work at the, uh, the resort hotel or whatever. And obviously they're the clear problem of uh, why this place is in the shape that it's in. But it's, you know, just another survival movie. They go out there to check it out and then just all this craziness happens. This kind of backwoods, um, you know, characters that are in it that start to like terrorize them. But uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. And uh, yeah, Lake Dead, another just random one. If you ever see any of these for cheap, I know sometimes it's a struggle to look through the DVD section because there's just so much. But uh, those three are pretty good. This one I've always heard about. Um, I watch the channel, The Horror Man, and uh, he has a really good horror channel. Big horror fanatic. He, I feel like he's seen or heard of every single horror movie that exists. This is one I always heard him talking about. Uh, just low budget. I mean, this is like beyond low budget. This is, I, I can't explain it. But it was shot on video, um, like VHS, like video. And I want to say some of the people in the movie were just actually like people that were there um, at this summer camp or whatever it might be. And they got them to be in the movie. Like that's how low budget this movie is. But I guess it's kind of a cult classic. Um, it's never had a Blu-ray. I want to say it had a DVD maybe like overseas. But it recently just got a brand new DVD edition. And that is Blood Lake. Um... This killer is just ridiculous. Some of the scenes in this movie, it's one of those you just have to see. Like when I say it's low budget, it is like, I mean, I could pull out my phone and shoot a better movie this afternoon if I needed to. But uh, there's something about it that still just makes it kind of fun. I think sometimes it's just when it's that bad, you know, it kind of gives it a little bit more entertainment value. Um, but yeah, Blood Lake check it out uh just super cheap low budget shot on video um horror movie it says right here blood lake was shot on three quarter inch tape and edited on one inch tape this transfer is taken from the original one inch master tapes so yeah um crazy 1987 82 minutes long and uh, it's an experience. It's an experience. So if you ever see this and you're into just a lot of cheese, uh, check it out. Blood Lake. That's all for the DVDs. I picked up a few Blu-rays kind of falling into the same category. This one was on the list. I was excited to get this one just because it's uh, Scream Factory. IFC Midnight uh, Killing Ground. I haven't watched this one yet. I think it's set in Australia. I could be wrong. And I'm pretty sure it's the same storyline. There's a couple on a vacation that end up, you know, in a bad situation. But yeah, I'll be checking this one out soon. This one we watched a couple weeks ago. We did a video on it, doing our reviews. Um, independent movie. Um, we just ran across this. Somebody posted a video saying like this super scary found footage movie, which I love found footage. Um, so we looked it up. There was only two ways to watch it. You could rent it on Amazon Prime or you could buy it from the actual site. And we picked it up. I think it was about $20. Uh, but that is the fear footage. Uh, one of the better horror movies that I've watched in a while. Um, you know, it, it is an independent movie. You can kind of tell that with the acting and some of the editing. But the scares in this movie, so legit. Um, just a really well done found footage movie. Um, it does actually come in, I don't keep it on there, but it, it comes in one of those little protective bags, but it has evidence on it. I didn't want to keep that. The disc is just a plain disc, but it looks like it has some blood stains on it. And uh, it comes with like a little missing. It's all about this cop that goes missing 
and uh, the whole movie's kind of based around seeing like his, the the uh, the camera that I guess he has like on his his uh, suit or whatever. And then there's a note to whomever it may concern that sees the tape. I haven't read that yet, but. Um, you know, you can tell these people actually really put a lot of effort. If you look up their, I want to say it's their Instagram and all their social media, it's just like Blair Witch, like where they're trying to sell this as if it's a true story. Um, but you know, it's kind of cool, just the whole marketing behind it. And uh, they left a comment on our uh, on our video, and I said something like, "Can't wait to see more. I hope these, you know, whoever directed this does more." And they said. Uh, something like stay tuned, something's in the works, something like that. So if you haven't seen this fear footage, highly recommend it. Any horror fan that just loves good horror movies, uh, I think this is a safe purchase for just about anybody. Some really creepy scenes, some awesome kills, uh, just the whole first person aspect done really, really well. So if you're into found footage, this is a must, the fear footage. And you can go to their, their website, it's thefearfootage.com you can kind of check it out so highly recommend that one that's one of my top watches in a long time uh, I saw this for cheap I think out of McKay's I haven't watched it yet but the uh, the clove hitch killer came with a slip and everything got that for a good price uh, I think Chad said it's pretty good this was also a McKay's pickup cabin fever patient zero not very good probably won't keep it but uh, you know it had a few fun kills but overall just kind of a lazy lazy horror movie uh, I think I found this cheap on eBay everybody knows about this movie The Grudge it's just one I've never had it's been a long time since I've watched it um, don't know where I found this maybe McKay's I can't remember but Prime Evil uh, it's a alligator movie <coughs> done really well I watched about half of it um, not too long ago. I wasn't able to finish it, but the movie takes itself way more serious than I thought it would. It's not just kind of like a goofy, it's not like a, what's it called? The Scream Factory, Lake Placid. Uh, it's not quite as uh, comical as that one. Like you can tell they actually put some effort to try to make this movie um, kind of serious and scary. So I'm looking forward to finishing it. So it's Prime Evil. Scream Factory release, Superstition. Picked this up, uh, really liked the trailer, and then I watched it. It had a few elements to it that I liked. The music was kind of creepy. I liked the, the style of it. Forgot what year this was, 1982. Um, but overall, just kind of a dud. As the movie progressed, it was just kind of a dud. I'll probably keep it. I think it's worth a rewatch, but um, I wanted it to, to be better. Superstition. This is one that's just been on the hit list for a while. Uh, Chad saw it first. He, I think he did a review for it on our channel. Tony picked it up, I wanna say, in Atlanta. And uh, finally got it for a good price. And that is Doom Asylum. Just looks like some good cheese. Uh, Arrow video from 19, where's the year? I know it's just sometime in the 80s, 87. So yeah, Doom Asylum. Got to check that out soon. Uh, need to just pick this up. I've had the first one, but sold it. And uh, I've only seen the first one, but that's the wrong turn, one through five collection. I heard these just get worse and worse as they go. But you know, I think it was only like 10 to $15. So for five movies, it's worth a shot. This is another Blu-ray I picked up when I was buying all the movies that are like outdoor related. This was another one that came up, never heard of it before, but it's called The Woods Have Eyes. Uh, movie is just ridiculous. Once again, I wanna say it's like a family reunion and they're all meeting at this like campsite, camping out. And then some of the friends are out just kind of goofing around in the woods and start messing around with some locals. And obviously these locals are just like crazy people. So once again, just a survival story out in the woods. It's a strange movie. It, it, it 
tries to be funny, but at the same time, it tries to have like kind of this serious, really kind of eerie vibe to it. And sometimes that clashes, but overall, it's still pretty fun. Um, I liked it. It's a keeper for me. And uh, just has some ridiculous characters in it. But overall, it's pretty fun. If you ever see it for cheap, $10 or less, get it. Near 20 bucks, don't get it. And then recent release over the past couple weeks is The Prodigy. We actually watched this um, about a week ago. I remember seeing the trailer in the theater and it had like one really good jump scare in it which kind of sold me. Um, from the trailer, we watched it, obviously about this, this kid that's possessed and you know, it's just like one of those movies where you just got a crazy little kid and they don't know how to deal with him. I thought it was okay. I didn't find it to be that scary. It was well made, it was shot well, just overall just good production for a movie. But I don't know how rewatchable it is, so I'll probably keep the code, keep it on my voodoo. I don't know how long the movie will last in my collection though, but still well made though. So if you're into these movies, you know, little kid being possessed, um, you'd probably enjoy it. The, everybody does a good job in it. But uh, I just didn't really find anything in it that would make me want to watch it again. So that's The Prodigy. Random movie. Uh, I heard Toddy Walnuts talking about this one, and he said it has some horror elements to it. So between the cheese factor of the main actor in it and it having some horror elements in it, I thought it would be a good time. And that is Silent Rage. It's one of these kind of throwback slip covers. I'm gonna say Mill Creek, yeah. Uh, Chuck Norris obviously is hilarious. He's not quite as goofy in this one. His character is actually a little bit more kind of reserved in this one. Uh, it's more of a thriller than it is like an action movie or anything like that. But I thought it was a really entertaining movie. It had a cool story to it. And uh, yeah, right here, martial arts master versus superhuman killing machine. So it's, it's an interesting watch for sure. So if you're into kind of that 80s, 90s cheese to it, I forgot what year this movie came out, 82. If you're into like that Chuck Norris cheese, um, this one's interesting. So Silent Rage, I recommend that one. It surprised me, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. All right, everything left is 4Ks. Some came out a while back. Um, all the way up to stuff that came out Tuesday. So, first one, Bumblebee on 4K. I was really surprised with this movie. I mean, I love a good action movie, uh, just a good blockbuster. I enjoyed the Transformers movies. They definitely got worse as they went. I did not like the Mark Wahlberg uh, Transformers movies, but the first three I can get down with, especially, I like the first one a lot. I like the third one. Second one was kind of all over the place really didn't like the uh, Mark Wahlberg ones but this one this one's right up there with the first one for me and I thought it was just good you, just a good time Haley Steinfeld whatever her name is she did a really good job uh, so I look forward to more if they're gonna keep Bumblebee going or break off onto some other characters however they do it um, I'm down so Bumblebee really happy with that purchase Picked up the new Alien 4K, um, beautiful slipcover. I don't know about just like the paint kind of chipping at the top, but I might have to get me another slip. But classic movie, had to get it. Uh, it was super cheap too, it was like $14. Picked this up a while back, The Witch on 4K. Um, not the greatest movie, but something about it. I, I like the ending a lot. I mean, it's a hard one to sit through, just the way they talk and the time period. But I thought the, the ending really kind of brought it all together and it was really creepy. So I'm a fan of The Witch. I think I'm the only one out of my buddies that, that's a fan of it, but that's cool. I got this at McKay's, finally got found it for a good price. Uncle Drew, still haven't watched it, but I love myself, like just a good kind of laid back comedy. You know, it's sports related. Kind of feels like one of those mid to late nineties. Um, you know basketball movies so looking forward to watching that uh, the new edition from Kino Lorber aka Kibo uh, Hannibal I've always liked Hannibal 
Uh, there's something about this one. I mean, I like Silence of the Lambs, but I cannot stand Jodie Foster. So that's that's my one issue with that that first movie. Obviously, it's a great movie, but um, I've always really enjoyed Hannibal. I think a lot of people tend to kind of push this one to the side. I like Red Dragon a lot too, but interesting that it came out from uh, Kino Lorber. But it's it's got a nice slip to it. Um, yeah, I mean Hannibal. Most of y'all have seen it, so. Nothing to really talk about. One of my favorite movies of all time, top 20 all time. I was so excited that it got a 4K. I haven't watched it yet on 4K, but uh, just one of my favorite movies, Field of Dreams. It's my number one baseball movie. Um, just beautiful. The Steel Book is really nice too. I'm just, I'm off of Steel Books. So, super excited that came out. Uh, we got Backdraft. Um, it was pretty cheap too, so I just decided to go ahead and scoop it. And then my favorite Marvel movie, uh, Captain America Winter, Winter Soldier, still holds the title for me. I mean, Infinity War is great. I still I haven't seen Endgame yet, but this still holds the title for me. As much as I liked Infinity War, um, I didn't walk out of Infinity War like all pumped up the way I did with Winter Soldier. Civil War, obviously I had to get that one too. This stack that I'm making over here is very sketchy. And then everything else is stuff that came out this week. I did yank, I don't have the movie yet, but I did yank the Batman Ninja Turtles slipcover. So I'm just gonna wait for that price to go cheap. But I mean, two of my favorite childhood just favorites, had to get that. And then I got these three bad boys. We got Toy Story, Toy Story 2, and the third one. Those are just musts. I mean, I sold my, my regular Blu-rays a while back just in preparation for these. And then I just can't believe that it happened. I'm so excited about it, but all the Batmans on 4K. Got the first one, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. I obviously <clears throat> not as crazy about Batman and Robin. Batman Forever I can get down with. I really enjoyed Batman Forever when I was little. But as I've gotten older, I mean, it, it's it's very clear that these two are just kind of goofy, but obviously I have to have them. Um, don't know how I feel about the new artwork. I think I would have been more down for, you know, something closer to the original. Um, but it's cool. You know, it's fine with me. Just excited they, they got 4K releases. I mean, this is, you know, right there in top two, top three of all time for me. And it's funny, you know, in, uh, what is it? August or September, they're releasing like the complete set. I'm definitely gonna pick up that Steelbook set just because I really like the set. It has nothing to do with it being Steelbooks, but I'll be picking that up as well, just as a display piece. I just, I have to have it. It looks really nice. But that is everything. DVDs, horror movies, 4Ks, Batman, Toy Story, just, that's all of it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, I'm just gonna keep making my list. I already have some stuff coming in the mail and uh, to start my list for um, next month when I do this again. So, hope y'all enjoyed this. Comment down below. Let me know what you've picked up or what you think about my pickups or whatever it might be. Don't forget to hit the dinger notification bell um, just to let you know when we've uploaded stuff. And uh, that's all I got for you. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I will talk to y'all later. It's the Viz, Triple Flicks Mafia. Peace out.